Welcome back to the show. Back to tell you about an amazing contest. I've just been talking to my next guest and I had no idea the concept of this contest and, and how it worked between both writer and illustrator. And I'm talking about the L. Ron Hubbard Writers and Illustrators of the Future Contest. And one of the winners is Jennifer Johnson. She joins me in studio. Well, congratulations, first of all. Thank you. Um, they give me a little bit of background as yourself as, as a writer, Jennifer. Uh, as a writer, uh, I'm actually a social scientist in my day job, okay. and so, yes, it, my husband was just talking about this. He said, oh, so it's kind of like you have a secret identity. Oh, I said, nice. Well, actually, like that. that's good. I like that. <laughs> I'm going to use it. But, yeah, so during the day, I do, you know, serious stuff, but at night, I'm secretly a science fiction and fantasy writer. And so, as an amateur writer, I was eligible to join this, to enter this contest. Okay. And so, it's a contest that's out there. Uh, it's, it's known is one of the best in the field because it pays well it's professionally judged there's no fee to enter you can enter as many times as you want mm. until you become a professional so I see it's really a great How did opportunity you find out about it it's I, I it's couldn't even tell well you well known or? yeah it okay. is okay. it's well known and so once you start getting into like when you start having some short stories and you want to publish them and you look for venues you think oh well what's this writers of the future is this a real thing it looks great because it's it's one of those things where usually you think, oh, well, surely there must be a catch. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like, wait, they're paying me professional We're rates? such cynics now, aren't we? <laughs> well, and not for no reason, <laughs> no, right? No, no, you're but, right, yeah. you're right. It's true, yeah. it's very true. So tell me about your story. My story um, is a, a space romp, I guess okay. we could say. Yeah, it's, uh, it's about space pirates, and it was one of those things where I was like, you know, I want to write something fun. I, right. want it, I want something that's an adventure. I want it to be, you know, have some grounding in serious stuff, but I want it to be, you know, a good time. And so I was like, all right, I'm going to write this story about space pirates, about a woman who's facing, you know, a, a really difficult uh, time. She is, <laughs> I was going over this with my husband earlier, he's like, I'm going to mess this up because it's just, it's one of those things that it's fun, but it's also serious. Right. And trying to layer those two things together was what I was really trying to do in a way that still made it a good time for people to read. Right. So the story itself is about 15,000 words. It's not a short, short story. Okay. But it's very action adventure oriented. This is so like right up my alley. Really? I, yeah, oh, oh no, great. absolutely. I cannot, I, I'm going to have to read it. But the cool part of this is that uh, the contest is for both writers and illustrators. You're yes. not an illustrator yourself, but we were yes. just showing this illustration on camera, and this is your illustrator, yes. um, but you have to explain how the contest works between writer and illustrator. This is something that's really pretty amazing about the contest, right? There is the writer section and there's an illustrator section and they're kind of sister contests. Right. And so I submit my story for the writer side and someone, his name is Chris Binns, he's an, an absolutely amazing illustrator, he submitted his portfolio on the other side. Okay. We both won and they matched us up. Up and they decided that my story should be illustrated by Chris. And so he got my story. Like, I, I knew who he was, but I didn't know anything about what he was going to do. He got okay. my story a couple months beforehand. He read it, and they figured out there's a whole process that they go through. They figure out which scene to illustrate and how to do it, and they're commissioned to do it. Okay. So they have this whole other experience. Uh, but then you walk into a room, you know, halfway through this workshop. We can get to that, but yeah, halfway yeah. through this workshop, you walk into a room, and all of these pictures are laid out on the tables with the illustrators standing behind them and you have to guess which one is yours. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> I mean, what a great experience. It's you awesome. mentioned workshops. So this workshop is as part of winning this contest. You yes. get to do a workshop in, in Hollywood. Yes. Tell me about that experience. That was something. Yeah. I mean, it was uh, unique, intense, Educational. I mean, I would say those are the three okay. words I would put on there. I mean, it's fascinating. People are like, oh, you got to go to Hollywood. That's amazing. It's like, well, yeah, but I didn't see it, right? I went out one day for pizza and I saw the stars on the, you know, on the, the walk of walk, yeah. what I want to say, yeah. walk of shame. It's not that, but yeah. <laughs> walk of fame. Walk, walk of fame. Of fame. Yeah. Thank you. But yes, uh, mostly we were in this um, very intense workshop, and I say intense, but not in a bad way, right? right. Yeah, yeah. There was just so much that, that, so much going on, so many opportunities, because you are in 
you're in a room with some of the greats of the field, right? And so, you know, if you're not into science fiction and fantasy, it may not be stuff that you, you know, that you know or people that you're familiar with. But once you get into it, it's like, oh my goodness. So that person, like Robert J. Sawyer, who is a Canadian science fiction writer who has won every single award that there is. I mean, every award. He's amazing. So He's for there. someone like yourself, you're like, Oh, yeah. oh my God! I know. It, <laughs> it really is one of those experiences where, oh well, this was a great opportunity that I would not have had. Not only to to have an educational experience with them, but to talk to them, to go out to lunch with them, to ask right. them questions. You know? And then everything ends up in this incredible book right here, yes. right? Yes. Yes. All the twelve of you. All 12, it's actually all 12 of our stories. There are also additional stories by some of the professional writers, some okay. of the judges, um, because there are a lot of judges in this, uh, and also some craft articles. That go where in there can, as where well. can people get a copy of this? They can get a copy of it anywhere that books are sold. I mean, it really is, it's out in ebook, it's out in paper, it's out in audio, which is pretty amazing. Uh, and it's at the public library, or it will be soon. Oh, so wonderful. I know they're getting it. But yeah. uh, Jennifer, great, great conversation. I I mean, what a great contest and a great experience for yourself and all the other writers and, and illustrators. Congratulations again from all of us here. Thank you, thank you. I just wanted to let people know about it because it's a great opportunity. Oh, couldn't, couldn't agree more. There's the book right there. Just uh, an amazing. amazing book. We'll be right back after this.